Well, this is the kind of match every football fan looks forward to. A lot on the line and the likelihood of a tension-packed occasion. It is Schalke. They take on Hertha live on EA TV. Hello from the industrial west of Germany. We're in the city of Gelsenkirchen. I'm Derek Ray, and joining me here on the commentary box for complete coverage is Lee Dixon. And very much looking forward to bringing you live action from the Bundesliga in a matter of moments. It's Schalke up against Hertha Berlin. Yeah, Derek, cracking atmosphere as usual here. That will lead to a nervy, energetic start. Frenetic, fast play to begin with before it all settles down. I'm really looking forward to this one. Well, there's been quite the focus on him coming into today's game. Facing his former club, facing his past lead. That's not always straightforward. Yeah, Derek, it's a funny old day. It can be a day to remember, a joyous day when everything clicks. You get a good reception from the fans that once loved you. Or it can be a day to forget. Hostile, you play terribly, you get beaten. He'll have his fingers crossed for sure. And Schalke will line up like this. This particular setup is becoming more and more in favour. Yes, Derek, one central striker, two wingers will provide the width, a very narrow three in midfield. The back four, the two full backs will be expected to support, but also defend and help out the centre backs. A look at the Hertha starting lineup. Manuel Akanji plays with Andreas Christensen in central defence. Danny Parejo starts with Santiago Ascasibar in the centre of midfield. And the story in attack is one of a strike partnership. And now they get the ball rolling. Moussa Diaby, Nuno Tavares, Almada, Kakere, and here's Neuhaus, Nuno Tavares, Florian Neuhaus, Kakere, Jeremy Doku. Happy to pass the ball, but remaining patient. Nuno Tavares. Well, as we glance at the table, it really is shaping up to be a captivating season. Highly competitive, especially at the summit. To take the lead! News of a goal on the Union match. Alan McAnally. It's a goal for Cologne. It's been scored by Mark Albrighton. He got onto the end of a cross, buried the header. Nine minutes played, 1 0. Alan McAnally keeping us right up to date. Really good reading of the game to win possession back. And possession given away. Kakere, Doku, Karim Adeyemi, and here's Neuhaus, Maxence Kakere, pure ball control, good pressure, can they make something of this? Something has changed at the Mercedes-Benz Arena. A goal there. Alan McAnally can tell us how it came about. It's a goal for the visitors. 14 minutes played, 1-0. Thanks as ever for the update, Alan. Parejo. Well, you can probably see why we're focusing on this fellow as one to watch. Lee, in particular, what do you expect to see from his game? Well, I hope these defenders have read the player notes for this game. They're up against the goal machine. 
They need all their focus and attention to stop him scoring today. Watch this space. Diaby. Adeyemi. Well, there to intercept. Christensen. It's with Parejo. Oh, that's a really good authoritative tackle. Throw in here. Marvin Plattenhardt. Real Embolo. Arne Meyer. Moving into the advanced position. They could nudge in front. They had to react and did. Moussa Diaby. A real opening now. In it goes. The goal for 1 0. And that changes the dynamic. Well, here's the replay. Super fast counter-attack football at its best. And he chooses to use power in the finish. Not much chance for the keeper when it's hit that hard. Well, the manager knows the importance of that goal. He also knows that you're at your most vulnerable just after you've scored. The match has restarted, 1-0 here. And news of a goal in the Nuremberg match. Let's hear about the goal from Alan McAnally. It's a goal for Borussia Dortmund. 29 minutes played, 1-0. Cheers again, Alan. Luca Bacchio. Parejo. And can they prize them open now? A bit sloppy in possession. Nice looking pass. Chance to play it in. Florian Neuhaus. Karim Adeyemi. A chopping challenge, and the referee has got to have a big think about it. The referee has deemed that to be a bookable offence. Absolutely, agree with that one. And the save made following the free kick, and he was able to hang on to the ball. A goal has been scored at the Mercedes-Benz Arena. Alan McAnally has details. It's a second goal for the visitors. 36 minutes played. 2-0. Thank you, Alan McAnally. Maxence Kakiri. Moussa Diaby. An attack full of promise. Can they get in behind them? Very quick thinking there. Arne Meyer. And they need to get tighter here. Committed challenge. Disappointing pass. Parejo. Maya. And able to close down the shot. Over it comes. Well, dealt with that ball comfortably. Maya. And still trying to get the shot off. This could be the equaliser. And it is the equaliser. Well, now, that could be a huge turning point in this game. They carry the momentum.
Well, here's the replay. It's a very neat piece of deception to get past the defender. And then it's probably the easiest tap-in he will ever get. Lovely stuff. Well, let's take another look at that goal, shall we? The earlier goal cancelled out, one apiece. Another stoppage time situation, one minute here. And with that, the first half draws to a close. Well, this man will get most of the plaudits for his contribution up to this point, Lee. Well, there's never a bad time to score a goal, but just before half-time can be crucial. And he's got his team back in this game. What can he produce in the second half? The teams are ready to have a go at each other again as the second half commences. Parejo. Plattenhardt and here's Cunha Arne Meyer they just let his opponent glide by opportunity it is well he saw the whites of the keeper's eyes and the whites of his outstretched gloves great goalkeeping well he's denied a certain goal there great reflexes from the keeper and the cross into the middle Got to it easily, the keeper. And news of a goal in the Eintracht Frankfurt game. Alan McInerney can fill us in. It's a goal for Eintracht Frankfurt. 49 minutes played. 3-1. Alan McInerney keeping us right up to date. Tremendous block. Manuel Akanji. Don't forget, there's live cup action coming up soon on EA TV. It's Hertha facing Borussia Dortmund. Yeah, break from league action for players. Always a good atmosphere when it's knockout football. Chances on. And a goal to re-establish their advantage. Just look at the celebrations. Well, here's the replay, and enjoy this passage of play. It's lovely to watch. Superb passing, and then through on goal. Do you go for placement, or do you go for power? Well, he certainly wasn't messing around, was he? Absolutely smashes it past the keeper. It's a really lovely finish. Well, all the hard work has paid off, but the manager knows a lot more has to be done to secure this game. So there we have it, 2-1. I'm hearing there's been a goal on the Union game. Alan? It's a second goal for Cologne. It's been scored by Mark Albright. Nobody was within five yards of him as the ball broke to him on the edge of the box and he fired home confidently. 56 minutes played, 2-0. Thanks as ever for the update, Alan. Moussa Diaby. Karim Adeyemi, chance here, keeper getting the touch, and at the second time of asking, it's a goal, the keeper meanwhile looks to the heavens. Oh Derek, it's a blooper, really poor from the keeper, he won't want to see this again, it's a fumble you have to say, and he's punished. Let's have another view of that goal. Well, his players have followed his every command and some. The coach must be delighted. Well, that's a tale of four goals in this match now. Three, one it is. And 30 minutes left for play in this match. Real Embolo. The ball with Maya. Palai Sacco. Luca Bacchio. 
It's a perfect challenge. Can they do something positive on the counter-attack? A real opening now. And there it is! Another goal! And surely there's no way back from this now. Well, let's see the replay and look at the pace at which the counter-attack happens. And when he gets through to the keeper, he just smashes it past him and gives him no chance to think. A lovely finish. Too much defending going on in the grand scheme of things. 4-1. Palai Sacco. And it's with Askasibar. Breil Embolo. Frimpong. Klosterman Almada and here's Neuhaus Florian Neuhaus Adeyemi well the attack carried promise but petered out well that is how to run at defenders he'll be breathing a sigh of relief ball one And the counter looks on here, options available. Almada. Doku. An attack full of promise. Possession seeded by Schalke. Oh, no let up, plenty of pressure. News of a goal on the Union match, Alan McAnally. It's a third goal for Cologne. 76 minutes played, 3-0. Thank you, Alan McAnally. Palai Sacco. And it's with Askasibar. Possession one. And in with a real chance. And mistimed the run, sadly. That's offside. Well, both teams have had substitutes swarming up. And now both will rely on their respective benches. Parejo and here's Cunha surely and just narrowly wide in the end and let's join Alan McAnally because I believe there's been a goal in the Frankfurt match Alan it's another goal for Bayern Munich it's been scored by Robert Lewandowski. That's his second today. The ball was played to him. The defender overcommitted and he went straight in on goal, ending in a simple finish past the keeper. Nine minutes remain, 4-1. Alan McAnally keeping us right up to date. And he takes it away. Over the touchline for a throw-in. So a personnel change then. Now he must favour the cross. Well, it's a poor tackle. Oh, a tremendous block. Body in the way again. Toussaint. Good pressure. Can they make something of this? And the pass could do damage. Can they convert? Oh, excellent diving stop. They take it short. Doku. Can they get in behind them? And take it away. Oh. 
One minute remaining. So two minutes of stoppage time here. Can they create something from here? Well, nicely cut out. And there goes the final whistle, and the home fans are going to be happy about this outcome, Lee. Well, being potent up front gives you a great chance in any game, and there was certainly that today. Sharp, clinical, and exciting to watch for sure. And the final analysis, a really positive performance from this man, Lee. Well, he never gave that back line a chance to get a breath. Two goals for the lad today. Played superbly well, looked really sharp, constantly playing on the shoulder of the last defender. A real handful. Moussa Diaby. A real opening now. 